Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button if you enjoy this video. And as you can see, we are back in NIMBY Rails for uh, number five in the uh, series. And uh, as you can see, we are in Bristol. And as I kind of alluded to in my in the last episode, um, we're going to focus on getting some trams set up today. Um, as you can see, Bristol is obviously quite a large city, so there's an opportunity to get a lot of people uh, into the main station uh, and onto the Great Western Railway, and that means more money for us. So I've been looking at this, and I've kind of come to the conclusion that um, probably going to need three separate trans systems. So first one to deal with. I guess south of where we've got our train station so um this area here where my cursor is um and then obviously we've got the north here and i think it's probably nicely divided by uh this river here so we've got one a sort of an area to the right and then an area to the left that goes quite far north um so my gut feel is we're going to end up with probably three tram systems um so if, i guess the first one we're going to put in is this one here to the right hand side so kind of without further ado let's um yeah let's let's get building so we need to start off with uh we'll go to a tram and then we need to uh get the what should we go for perhaps a 200 150 yeah I think we'll go for a one f mm, or 175 175 looks good we'll go with that so then we'd come across here so it's just see we've got the catchment here so as I say we'll use this kind of this main road and the river as the kind of dividing boundary between the two tram systems that we're going to put in place so I think we'll have the first one here. Looks like a good space. We only want it to be, uh, yeah, 100, 100 meters, maybe. Yeah, 100 meters, we'll go 100 meters. So that's got four, just over four and a half thousand catchment area. So that's, that's decent. We'll have another one just here. Length of 100, where are you? there so that's and then i think we'll work our way to here perhaps so again another 100 meter station and uh we'll pop one right here i think come on there we are 100 so that's no we don't really want to have um overlapping boundaries because it kind of doesn't really help us. So um, we'll then come back down and we'll have another one. Yeah, that's not quite where I want it to be. Uh, nope, we'll a little bit further. It's slightly overlapping, but I think that's fine. So let's get 100 there. 101, that's just fine. Uh, and then we'll come into Kingswood. So I think we'll put one. Oh, I don't know. Just, just here, perhaps. I think this looks good. There we go. That covers that catchment. Um, we'll then go here. I think. Shorten that one up. Come on. There we are. Cabri Heath Football Club. Uh, we'll then have another one here in Hannam by the looks of it. Make that 100 meters, a bit longer. There we are. And then, yeah, I guess this last one just here. Again, just another 100 meter station. So that's 10 stations in all, and that's pretty much most of. I think we could have gone a little bit closer and tighter together, but 
um, 10 stations uh, that's got me up to a cool 8 million so far generally building trams is uh, in terms of the um, actual track is pretty cheap it's obviously then when you put the trams on themselves they tend to be the kind of the, the expensive part so first of all we're gonna have to come straight out of here with a viaduct to obviously get uh, over the uh, water here so we'll come just a little bit like that and then we'll return to tram and our first run let's just do an initial bit like that and we can go all the way up to uh, Chaplin Road Green Space so that's our first one we can then uh, want to angle it probably just like so it's not quite straight is it could probably make that a little bit better there you go and then we can go on to our next station so we can pop it just there oh that's not quite good enough let's see if we can straighten this out a bit yeah that looks good and so from uh, Gracefield School we will go to uh, Augustine's Canterbury RC Primary School. It does love picking up schools in this this game for some reason. Oh uh, dear, there we go. And then we'll curve round and then on to the Tining School. So ooh, we've got a river here by the looks of it. No. Oh, we can squeeze through the river there. And we'll just link that up like that. Perfect. And then from there we'll go on to Kingswood. Like so. Nice straight run. And then from Kingswood we will go. We can just sort that out a second to try and make this a little bit straighter. Yep, that looks good. And then from Capri Heath, we will go to Hannum, like that, and then from Hannum to Troopers Hill Field. I think we might just have to correct that one slightly, see if we can make it a little bit straighter. Ooh, nah, that's fine. And then from Troopers Hill, we. Ooh, we're going to need possibly a branch here. Let's just uh, mm, probably there. And then we'll just move this around to get the right angle. It's a horrible junction, I have to say. But, um, ah, there we go, that's better. And actually we could probably use that station to do the south one as well when we get to it. So to build our first tram route in Bristol, uh, we're looking at uh, 22 million, which actually I don't think is too bad. So let's get that built. We're happy with that. And the next thing we need to uh, get set up is our line. So we're going to call this a Bristol Metro. Uh, and this will be Northeast. Yep, Metro. I think we'll call it just any. We'll call that B any. Uh, we'll go with blue again. Like that blue. And let's just have a look at. So we're using 0.75 per kilometre. So 75, I guess, cents or pence per kilometre travel. So let's um, now add our stops to this. Let's uh, just 
Uh, yeah, okay, so we want to go to add stock. So it's from A to, oh no, from A to A to A to A to A to A. To A. <laughs> Uh, back to Kingswood, Cavalry Heath, Hanum, Troopers Hill, This way, so through Troopers Hill. I think this is right. Um, we'll soon find out when I get some trams on this. Through Kings, back through Kingswood. So we, so we we'll always end up having. Yeah, this is right. Didn't hit that one. If we didn't do this, those that were in, uh, say Chaplin Road have to go all the way around the loop if they wanted to get to the temple gate but if we have it now flipping back round on itself um, then those trains that come back round this or trams that come back round this loop then can pick up those that are in <laughs> Chaplin Road and go straight to yeah straight to temple gate so that works so we can estimate oh uh, so our ideal speed will be 45 because that's the maximum for trams. And we'll estimate. All right, we've got... Yeah, 20 stops, that's right. We can estimate. Have one here, ten minutes, six minutes. For some reason it's not estimating the time. Oh yeah, five minutes and seven thirty. Uh, so if I set the minimum interval times as we'll go with five minutes to start with, and we can. We can then mess around with that. So we want to buy some new trains. We want the city tram. Um, we're going to go with three car units this time, I think. We go with that decal. We're going to make the trains white within the blue overlay. Uh, and we're going to have, see, this is where it gets expensive. Uh, 12 units to store start with, I think. Yes, we'll go with that. See if we... Uh... And we'll just now manually assign all these. Let's just not go too quickly so there is a bit of space in between each of them obviously i've got it on high speed so that does help Ooh, i've messed that up so we're gonna have a bit of space in there I think we're gonna have plenty of trams on this one it may be that we have to We'll see how this gets on actually. So we'll be coming up very shortly to early morning on a Monday. So that will be a good indication as to how well this picks up. If we keep open the 
state information then we can keep an eye on whether we've got full trains or yeah as you can see there for example Eastfield Park we haven't had a train in a little while so we may need to actually change our spacing slightly so if we change that to six minutes perhaps so we'll help space them out a little bit or it may be a case that we need a few more and I'm not adverse to getting a few more actually if we think we need it but as you can see those yeah we haven't had any coming back on itself in a little while so maybe we'll clone uh, another four units why not and we'll see how they get on they're now stuck together <laughs> hopefully that will sort itself out when it but yeah like I say as we oh no we're still in Sunday so what I'll do is I'll I'll fast forward time uh, we'll get to Monday and then we can see how well this uh, this tram system will do for us so I'll see you in a second okay so you join me back in the very early hours of Tuesday the 23rd of March um, so as you can see over here on the right uh, we are looking at Monday and in total we made 18 uh, 18 million dollars worth of of pure profit and we moved um, 331,000 passengers that started their trip that's that's a phenomenal increase so if we just compare that to uh, a week ago uh, you can see we made just 13 million uh, and we moved uh, 186,000 so just by uh, if we get rid of that just by adding this this tram to the north uh, east of Bristol um, it's significantly improved our, our daily profits and the amount of people that we use so kind of as I like I said at this the start of this episode uh, we between sort of this episode and the next one what I will do is uh, build one south of Bristol and also the southwest side which will obviously be uh, considerably a lot bigger so um yeah it'll be good to have both of those in, in in place um but if you do have any suggestions around uh the next project or where we should head to next please do let me know in the comments down below um and i think this brings a, a close to today's episode so guys if you have liked it do give it a thumbs up by hitting that like button uh, also hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this because it's certainly on its way so i'll see you in the next one Bye bye